All right, so I know we didn't do much commentating in the video. You know, it's because it's our like our first like official YouTube video, whatever like that. We talked about it for a while, you know, but we didn't. Uh, we never really took it took advantage of the situation. So now, you know, we're like, all right, so let's just start it. So that's what we did. So, you know, first time Jared's with the videos and everything like that. So I know we really didn't, I didn't do that, do that much talking in the video period when we did the, the walkthrough and stuff like that. But we're just going to do like a recap, you know, probably put this at the beginning, honestly, and let you guys watch it through. Oh, I paid, I think it was like 25 or $30 a person. Plus me and her, our baby was free because of the simple fact that we didn't know um, she's under three. I think if it's three years old, you had to pay. And if you brought a pet, you had to pay for them as well. So that's pretty much what made it cheaper was, was the simple fact that uh, we didn't have to pay for her. But for the most part, it cost too much money for the event to me. I mean, it looked amazing. The lights looked amazing. Everything, everything was nice. You know, the marketplace looked amazing. You know, I've never seen nothing like that before. You know, so we really wasn't knowing what we were expecting. I kind of feel like they copied the Bush Gardens Christmas Town because it looked just like that. They said it was indoors. You know, so it looked just like that. So if you've been to Bush Gardens, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But you know, they copied that. Um, I think it could have been a little bit bigger. I think they should have took more advantage of it, uh, of how much space it was, you know. One, they took the turf away and put these hard plastic floors on, so if you wheelchair bound, it's great for you. Oh, another thing, uh, no strollers allowed inside okay. the maze. So, you gotta, that means if you have to hold your child that likes to run, of course, up ours. So, this, this is <laughs> if you got a 20 pound turkey, <laughs> get a babysitter. <laughs> 20 pound turkey, get a babysitter. It's just, it just, no, it's, it, it doesn't do good. You know, it, it, it really doesn't do good. You know, it's all right though, but I don't know. You really need to be able to put strollers through there, especially during the weekdays. It need to be like a weekend thing. You know, you can't do the strollers, but during the weekdays, you should be able to do the strollers. And it need to be like Disney World, like no wagons allowed, stuff like that, because I've seen some people that have wagons, so I can understand why you wasn't allowed to bring that in there. But for like the small, for like the small strollers, like the ones you can bring to Disney World, I don't think that that should have been the issue at all, you know? It was a lot of space. Absolutely. It was a lot of open space, but like the market, I feel like they could have picked better people for the markets. Cause nothing was like eye catching that I want to go buy. Like it, it really wasn't out there. It looked like a bougie flea market. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't even say it was a bougie. Well, they made it sit up like that because if honestly, if it was like a, like a craft show or something like that, it wouldn't be looking like that. They had like everybody set up like the same way, but the people actually sit there is up. But I didn't, I didn't like the products really. It's like you know those vendors that were. You know, bigger companies. It's not really like homemade anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's how we feel about it. I mean, if you want to go, I mean, it was a good experience because I think the last time it's been was like five years. So it looked nice, you know. And for taking pictures, it was amazing. Yeah. All that stuff like that's amazing. I mean, it is very eye catching and it was very pretty, but. For the cost of the tickets, and then oh, on top of it, you had to pay for parking. parking. <laughs> Park, which I already knew that already, but it was just, it just pissed me off even more when I got there. I had to pay for the parking, so it was ten dollars to get in there. And then it was like thirty dollars per ticket, so it was like sixty. So that was seventy dollars, you know, ahead, you know. And I pre-bought my tickets in early November, and it didn't even open up to the twenty-second. And I just recently went on the sixth, um, December the sixth. So. Bought the tickets early and I still had to pay full price. You know, they should have had some kind of gimmick for people that bought tickets early, you know, to give them some stuff, you know, or, you know, they had these things like Edison bulbs that had a drink in them and you couldn't, you couldn't just buy the bulb. You had to buy the drink and it was uh, $15. It, it, the bulb looked really nice, but it probably only six ounces, 
maybe eight ounces would have fit inside that bowl. And yeah. then it was pre-mixed and it had ice in it. Yeah, it was pre-mixed alcohol, alcohol drink. It was like brown sugar and what else was in it? Like bourbon? Bourbon or something like that. Yeah, nah. We don't... Mm -mm. <laughs> this sounds tasty. <laughs> yeah, nah. So, I don't know. It was, it was pre-mixed, you know. So, it was going to be like some Applebee's. Yeah, that kind of Applebee's drink. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but for the most part, like I said, you know, we enjoyed it, everything like that. But, you know, to get your money's worth, you better walk through it two or three times. That's what yeah, we did. Yeah, it wasn't, it's not that big at all. It, it definitely, and she wore like heels. Yeah, I wore, it was a lot of people wearing heels, and you could just walk around like 100 million times. Like, it was not big. Like, and the food wise, like, there was nothing really there to offer. It was Papa like John's Papa John's had a whole section. <laughs> the cheapest thing there was cotton candy, which okay, cotton candy, <laughs> right? You know, but they had singers there. You know, they had people dressed up in costumes. They should have had more costumes, like more people dressed up in costumes yeah, to make it feel like more. more yeah, like yeah, exactly. You know. Oh, and on top of that, it should have been colder in there. Like, it needed to be at least 65 degrees. Because, yeah. in all honesty, like... It was hot and there little sprinkles of snow. Yeah, they had... It really yeah, it, it, it was hot in there. They tried, they tried to have snow machines to blow the snow in the air, but it was so hot in there. Humidity was so high that it, it melted before it even sprinkled in the air, and which made the ground wet. And you'll see in the video, Grandma done fell already. <laughs> I know she didn't get a money back, but, you know, anyways, like I said, it's our first family vlog, you know, next week we're going to go do some other stuff, friends, she might do Disney World, something like that, so. Yeah, so. pass holders. <laughs> yeah, so definitely, you know, so, all right, thank you. So if you made it this far, I really appreciate you guys. I put a lot of work into this and I really wanted to grow. I really want my family to grow with me and I want you guys to grow my family as well. I really hope that you guys really enjoyed this video because I really did try to make this happen. And please comment, like, subscribe, and do all the notification bells. Please watch us. We're going to post videos probably at least twice a week if possible i'm really going to try because we're going to vlog it out we do so much stuff me and my family and you can watch us go through all our ups and our downs and i promise you we got more great videos on the way so thank you so much and please subscribe to our channel please share it with your friends and family because we want to grow with you thank you